In today's video, I want to show you my latest freeze frame fusion composition. But first, let's see how it looks. Hi, my name is Adrian and let's take a closer look how to implement it. So without further ado, let's begin. So first you need to get my fusion composition from my coffee page. It's free for let's say first 50 downloads. So enjoy. Once downloaded, go back to the edit page. I've got here some shots while I was practicing gimbal moves. Anyway, I will use it to show you how to create a freeze frame effect. So maybe let's apply freeze frame effect right here. So what you need to do now is with the clip highlighted, right click and enable retime controls. There is a default keyboard shortcut to it, Control R. Now click this little black arrow and choose freeze frame. So what we've basically done is inserted freeze frame in the middle of our clip. You can adjust the length of it by dragging this knob, but the default length, which is four seconds is fine. Okay, so now place the playhead at the beginning of the freeze frame and cut it, Control B. Open the retime controls for the second clip to see where exactly the freeze frame ends. Move the playhead to the end of the freeze frame and cut the clip again. Okay, so now in our timeline, the freeze frame is seen as a separate clip. Right click on it and new compound clip. Okay, now we are ready to switch to fusion page and use my fusion composition. We can open fusion page in two ways. First one is to right click on the compound clip and open in fusion page. The second one is to place the playhead over the clip and open fusion page down below. Next, go to Menu File, Import, Fusion Composition. Locate the file you've downloaded and open. You should see the following notes. A quick tip, tap V key if you don't see this navigation panel, which helps a lot to move around the notes panel. Okay, so let's start with studio version. Free version differs only in a few steps and I'll show it after we discuss the studio version. So first, delete the free group node. Select it and tap delete. Now connect text node with the foreground input. To determine which input is what, just hover the mouse cursor over the input of the node and you'll see what it is. Okay, this is our foreground, so drag the square of the text node, which is the output, into the foreground input. Then connect the two media nodes into the inputs. It does not matter to which one. And finally, Connect the studio nodes group into the media out. Now what I'm gonna do is to make some more room, like that. Because I'm gonna ungroup the studio nodes group, I don't wanna it looks like a complete mess, so right click, ungroup. Now this is important, put the playhead at the frame zero, Preview the Magic Mask node on the left viewer. So select the Magic Mask node and tap 1. If you're not in the double viewer mode, click the viewer icon. In the inspector, set the mode to better, choose the stroke mode and select your object. Magic Mask is a quite some topic. I'm not gonna discuss each control and settings here. It should work for most of the cases like I showed you. So one or two strokes should be okay to select the object or a person. And this is it. If you're more advanced in Fusion, you'll find out quickly what's going on with all the nodes and how to adjust it further to your needs. If not, I'll show you now how you can modify some of the settings. First, the text, which is obvious. You don't want to have your text here as a text. This template text is my own template also available for free on my coffee page, but you can use any text available in the DaVinci you want. So to change it, delete the existing one and from effects library under templates, edit, titles, choose the one you like. For instance, slide from center. Drag it to the notes panel, connect with the merge node like that. 
and customize it in the inspector the same way you do it on edit page. So that would be one thing you would probably like to change. Then the light rays. It's easy, just select the light rays uh, node and in the inspector correct whatever you like. For example, color, brightness and so on. And maybe the last thing, depending on the object, you might want to correct the size and center and you do it in this transform node. But before you change anything, be sure to stand at frame 15. It's marked as a white little dash on the timeline. In other words, uh, there are keyframes on that frame. And in the inspector, you can only modify the controls that have keyframes there. You can tell it by the red diamonds. Of course, if you are more advanced, you can change whatever you want. But I want to make it ultra simple for all of you who see Fusion for the first time and want to only make advantage of my freeze frame composition. So being at frame 15, you can modify those three controls and you will probably not break the animation. So let me change the size and maybe center. And as you see, I did not break anything. Let me now explain how to use free version. So I will import the fusion composition again. This time I will delete studio notes group and connect text and other notes the same way as I've explained in the studio version. Now I will ungroup it and I'm gonna jump to the frame number zero. Next I'll take a polygon node, click invert in the inspector and connect to the media in. Preview the media in on the left, so select it and tap one on the keyboard. Now click the polygon node and draw a mask around uh, your object. In the inspector, uncheck back the invert checkbox. Ok, this is it. The rest of the adjustments work the same way I've showed you in the studio version. If you have any questions, leave a comment, tap subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers and see you in the next one.